What's going on guys, Dane here, and welcome back to Elemental Titans, and you already knew this one was coming, y'all requested it, y'all are vibing with it, and I'm vibing with it too, right? Like I told y'all, I'm hooked, I'm addicted, man, I'm taking my arm vitamins with this one, and because of that, we're starting off how we're known to do with our top 10 tips on how to get started, if you're just getting started, man, how to get started strong, how to get started quick, how to be number 5, number 6, now I got demoted on your server for peak damage dealt on the co-op boss and i don't really know what other thing to click on to really show a good uh you know where i'm at right now things are going good over here man you know we're starting strong and casual as we are known to do i'm uh, i'm having a blast with this one and i want to help people that are just starting out have the best experience in their first couple of days to really boost their way through and get as strong as possible and of course depending on how much work you're willing to put in will depend on what your level and combat power is looking like at the end of this and uh, De Niro because it is a gotcha but I will say this is the most free to play gotcha you're gonna find especially idle man this game is F2P but I digress man we got a top 10 what the heck to do to get yourself started now these are in a random order like they always are however uh, you, the, you know, what other way would you like it, man? You, you want me to put them up in a screen and make them in order of transcendence so you can skip to your favorite part? I'm YouTube stuff. But, number one. Alright, we're, we're gonna skip past all that. Get as far as you can in the campaign. That's the big one. Get as far as you can in the campaign. Hit a wall. Like, real talk. Just go as far as you can. Maybe it'll say, like, oh, you have to beat this, uh, you have to be this, uh, player level. To make it any farther. That's fine. Uh, just get as far as you can in the campaign. And then once you're done, or once you've hit a wall, whatever the case may be, you just worry about everything else. Because what that's going to do is the farther you are in your campaign, and the farther you can possibly make it, the better your idle reward is going to be every single minute. And this is going to be the bread and butter of leveling yourself up, getting your materials, especially when you're offline, especially once it's time to hit fast forward, which we will talk about in a second, man. But that's number one. Get as far as you can in the campaign before you do anything else every single time. Now, number two save your diamonds for event summons man take a look over here we have all these round one round two and round three summons chilling and i'm gonna actually do one of these real quick get this guy as boost as possible because i love him is he the craziest one to pick here absolutely he is all right fight me and we're gonna run through these uh the event summons are where you want to spend your diamonds to begin with it's gonna take a lot of them but it throws so many diamonds at you it doesn't even matter we got a static assassin in the house uh the musician chilling um this game is gonna allow you to do what we're gonna talk about in a second okay this is gonna allow you to it's gonna allow you to be uh you know what we'll just say right off the bat you know we're, we're already off the rails we're already off the rails. Where, 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 where did I put it in here? Which number is it? So we're number seven. Tip number seven, guys. We're already there. Be a summon fiend. That's real talk. That's real talk. All right. You just got the seven tip for free, man. Be a summon fiend in this game. Now, I wanted to throw that in and be specific about that because most games, that is not what you do. You you do spend any on anything else. If you're spending diamonds on summons in any gotcha, for the most part, you're wasting your diamonds in this game that's what you want to do you want to find those deals throughout the game that's really giving you those crazy uh those crazy rewards those crazy uh like mm, scroll packs like maybe 10 scrolls for a thousand diamonds or anything like that you want to summon summon some of it make sure you saved up enough to be able to do that event do your beginning summons do any kind of event summons that are happening maybe the monkey king's going down and you want to really get this man i would suggest it dude's nutty get your shards all that um, be a summon fiend on tip number seven. Also, save your diamonds for event summons just like you just saw there on tip number two. They should have been together, but my brain don't work like that. Number three, do your events. Look at everything up here. These are not pay to win nonsense just chilling up here. Some of it is. Some of it is like pay to get stronger, but as you can see on my server, people aren't really paying like crazy. There's like maybe three whales on my server. Um, that's it. Other than that, like you got your 10 player co-op chilling up here. You got your, what is this one? Uh, I don't actually know what kind of co-op this is. It might not even be co-op. Uh, you got Gathering of Heroes chilling where you're going to be getting all kinds of like selectors for elite units and all kinds of crazy nonsense. I mean, you're going to be getting ridiculous rewards, especially from this event tab, whether it's the Wish of Fate where you can get whatever the heck's going on here. Uh, the fast forward thing that's happening right now where all you got to do is fast forward, which we're going to talk about. The hot shot where you literally farm like Pokemon to get your heroes. Um, the deals going on where there's free stuff chilling in here all the time, by the way, there's also like usually free stuff in the shop as well. So be sure to check these, check your events, do them. They're insanely free to play friendly. The seven day login reward is giving you three heroes, 10, seven, the rewards are nutty. That's what I'll say. There was, there's a star express thing for starring up your heroes fast and like making it happen for free. It requires no food, nothing like that. 
And of course, the reason tip number seven is be a summon fiend, and the reason you need so many summons is because you need a lot of fodder, a lot of fodder and a lot of copies at the same time to actually start things up. That, that's real. You, you need a lot of them, man. The hero altar will not be cut. Look at this, look at this. 19 copies to get him a one star. Look at this feed mess. Look at it, look at it, love it, all that. But you make it pop off, it ain't that bad. You just you be a summon fiend. Oh, uh, these are all new. We're out of whack, man. The choo-choo train. Number four, hit a content wall, then upgrade. That's right. You're going to be doing a lot. Like, you're going to run out of time for the day if you go back to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade every time you do a piece of content. I would say hit a place where you're slowing down in content or you hit a wall. You lost, whatever the case may be. And then run, upgrade, rapid pace. It's very fast to upgrade in this game. All you do is jump over to pe people. You just click auto, bam, everyone levels up easy money you go over to your gear auto equip bam no big deal everything's taken care of it's fast it's easy to do there's a lot of room in your pentacle as well early on you're gonna have a lot of characters to play around with just do your upgrades put your gear on upgrade your gear whatever you got to do in the background once you hit a slow down point because you don't want to miss out on anything for the day and you probably don't have 100 hours in the day to just be like oh i did you know, a campaign mission, throw in some XP. I grab my idol rewards, throw in some XP. Slow down, upgrade, slow down, upgrade. It'll save you so much IRL time, you'll thank me later. Number five, use your highest starred characters early. All right. Use just, that's all there. You're going to be getting startup heroes left and right. Use your highest starred heroes only. Put them in your pentacle if you need to use more. Uh, it just star people up. And what, whoever gets startup, that's who you're going to be using. But I will suggest early, early on... To just go ahead and make it easy on yourself and use this 20% attack, 20% HP for element star. This thing is a goaded, it's nutty, it's big busted, and the reason it's so busted is it's so easy to get away with early game compared to like five of the same element. It's it's tough putting together a team that makes any lick of sense and also getting five of the same element to be your highest star, your strongest characters, and really get any use out of that one. This four colored star just a water a grass a, a, a fire and a what is the other one lightning all together and you can even use a light to replace one because lights are wild cards in this game of all things so you know that is what it is and if you already have it all set up you can throw a dark on there as well for its uh you get hp plus 10 percent on it so you have hp plus 30 percent it's gorgeous it's busted it's what you do uh, it'll help you out a lot in getting your power up and getting your wins up more consistently all that We'll talk more about heroes as we start doing our uh, character spotlights, because of course that's happening. How could it not? We're in a gotcha. But I digress, man. We got uh, we got more to talk about. That, that's just what you got to do. Make sure you have a tank on there. Make sure you have a healer on there, and then just get some damage. You know what I'm saying? Make sure there's interrupts in there as well, because you're going to need them for the bosses. But we'll get to that number six only upgrade gear that's purple and higher. You're going to be getting all kinds of green gear. You're going to be getting all kinds of this, that, and the other thing. Bro, forget this, that, and the other thing. Forget the blues. Forget everything. In fact, for the most part, you're really going to want to try to avoid until you absolutely have to any regular bordered purples like these right here, but any kind of cool bordered purples, go ahead and upgrade them if you so choose. Anything orange, if you like it, upgrade it because it's going to be sticking around for a very long time. These purples with a corner on them are going to be busted for you. They're going to be juiced for you, whatever the case may be. You're going to like a man, Kensei. He's looking sweet. This man looking cool, but I wouldn't I'm gonna try to upgrade things like this right here first Because it's got the border on it. I'm gonna be using it longer. It's higher tier as long as the stats make sense Always check your stats. Always make sure they make sense for the character. It is what it is Upgrade purple and higher preferably with a corner orange is a good to go at all times Don't waste your upgrade materials because here's the thing especially early It is actually tough to come by this stuff man. I mean if I autofill I barely throwing everything in and a blue can level up once. It is not that fast coming in. That's that. Number seven, be a summon fiend. We already talked about it, man. We already talked about number eight. Read what a boss does when you see it. All right. Let, hear me out. Do you know what the desert phantom does? Read what he does before you, when you see him, uh, when you go into co-op dungeon, when you go into any, there's so many bosses in this game. It's unbelievable world boss. Uh, I believe road of warrior is all bosses. When you go in, it gives you the full breakdown. It even does right here outside of the fight. It tells you everything you need to know about the boss to make it pop. Playing these well matters just as much as having a good team. If you play it like trash, your, your team's going to perform like trash. 
you're going to screw people over in two-player co-op once you start getting as high as you, you like need to be power-wise if you don't know what the heck you're doing. Read what they do and then play them well. These are active play bosses through and through. The rest of the content is absolutely audible in most cases, although you run into those fights sometimes where, hey, I don't even know what to do with the onslaught they'd be throwing at you with these mobs. Read what these bosses do. It's quick, it's easy, it's simplified for you, and then follow suit, play it well, you'll be happy later. If you're just trying to auto it and walk away, you're probably wondering why your team is supposed to be strong enough by like 400,000 power and you're dropping to the dust every time. It happens, man. Don't feel too bad about it. Number nine, though. Number nine. Get ready for this one. Join a guild. You probably saw this one coming. Uh, join a guild. There's guild hunt going on where you have to fight a boss and it's sick. It, it's, a, it's a cool boss. You got donations going on where goats can go ahead and throw in the diamonds for their stuff. Lucid Fate, by the way, is the name of mine. Um, if you uh, so choose, I don't know where I can find a better place that says it. It's Lucid Fate. Uh, if you join the Discord down below, it's spelled the exact same. It's in the description. Uh, it's spelled the exact same. So you just hop in there and you are good to go. I'm not going to accept that. I'm sorry, whatever your name was. Um, you know, you can pray and you can uh, yeah, ask for stuff. And apparently someone is actually in the guild with me. So, you know, that's dope, actually. But... Uh, join a guild, you get rewards, you get a shop in here, you get guild wars coming soon. You get, I mean, the guild store is pretty lit too. Look like at this legendary gear just chilling in here waiting for you. Uh, you get signature weapons in here chilling for you, which is like the big, big buy. Look, like, you get like the duelist pi pistols, you get like this giant sword, you get, that's for the cat that I'd be using, he's a healer, he's sick. This is for obviously the boomerang girl that everyone starts with. This is where you get your signature weapons. This is where you get the default weapons if there's nothing there that you're really interested in. It's it's goaded. It's goaded. I mean, and perks as well. If you want to get stronger, come on in, man. That is what you do. Uh, we, we got a well, stat boost for everybody. And then, of course, buildings that we work on together for just ridiculous, ridiculous benefits. For the, that's what that is, man. And plus the sense of community, especially as the game is in this early state, I would highly suggest it. What server am I on? Server 3, if you are curious. Now, number... 10 use your rushes at the start of the day hear me out real quick man we're gonna open up a couple of these uh guaranteed uh summons real quick but use your rushes at the beginning of the day when you sign in sounds backwards right you're, you're obviously gonna wait till the end of the day on your first day right but on your second day if you use them right away ooh, this is new um, if you use them right away, you're gonna be getting your you're gonna be getting your grind done faster. You're gonna save yourself IRL time. Now, if you're trying to be the number one player and like that's all you care about and not your like actual time and enjoyment, I would say you know go ahead and save it till the end of the day and also like get ready to spend because that's what you're in for. If you're trying to enjoy the game free to play and also not like spend all day long playing, I would suggest using save yourself time, progress faster in the game without the, the in the long in the short run i'll say not the long run but you'll progress faster man you'll progress faster and faster and faster if you're not willing to put in like all day long and also spend money if you use your rushes at the beginning of the day and you know you just you just worry about it later. you know you use all those upgrade materials that you got from all the rushes maybe it's this uh fast forward right here maybe it's the uh maybe it's an adventure you jump over to eternal pit and you go ahead and use your rewards twice bam get it done and then when you sign in the next day, you'll get the next one. It's fine. Uh, you can do that for all of it. Yeah, check all your stores as well. There's PvP stores. There's a billion stores if you go to the shop. Uh, check all these. This should be a bonus tip, honestly. But, like, I'll just say it right now. Go ahead and check this out. Uh, the stores are numerous, and they're ridiculous what you can get out of them. Uh, if you're not exploring all of them and you thought there was only, like, the top special store, you're probably missing out on a lot. Uh, Hearthstone. And this is the... Uh, a uh, friend one right here. You got the guild store, of course. You got the relic store I don't even have unlocked yet. There's a lot of go-to stuff happening around there, man. But that is it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We got some crazy nonsense uh, dropping tomorrow on this one. But I want to help everybody get started on, like, the way to go. You don't really need a synergy for your uh, characters. As long as you got the single target damage, the AoE damage, and you got, uh, you know, you got the right star, and you got the tank. You got the healer. And you're only using S's to be honest with you, because like, why wouldn't you? Top star, right? You're going to be fine early game. And of course, everything's going to be started up at some point. Your S's may as well uh, be the first ones up. 
Uh, that's how I feel about that, and that is it for this one, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. You don't need anything crazy early game as far as synergy goes. You should be running into less problems if you really need to swap people out. It's very easy to do. It's free to reset someone up to level 90, and that's it for this one, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me only if you really liked it, and if you vibe with me, subscribe with me. I got you covered on, what, two videos a day? Sometimes three videos a day on the best in gems on the mobile marketplace. Hands down. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.